So my name is Dr Soma Banerjee and I'm a consultant in straight medicine at Imperial College Healthcare NHS Trust. So this paper, uh, the purpose was to provide an update into the benefits of stem cell therapy in stroke medicine. Um, in terms of preclinical evidence, there's very good evidence for the benefit of stem cells in stroke models, but in terms of translating that to the bedside, that's very much in its infancy. Stroke is uh, a major cause of mortality and morbidity across the world. We know that it is the second commonest single cause of death worldwide and also the commonest cause of adult disability across the globe. So there's a real and pressing need for new treatments um, in the field of stroke medicine and perhaps regenerative strategies such as stem cell therapy. A number of different theories have been proposed uh, which we discuss in the paper. This review article I've written with my colleagues who I've also worked on with the clinical trial that we're involved in and that is Deborah Williamson, Jeremy Chataway and Professor Nagy Habib. The commonest thought reason um, for, for how stem cells work is that you put a stem cell into the damaged area and then it regrows that part of that organ, whichever organ it is. In terms of the brain and stroke, um, there's very little evidence that that's how stem cells work, that they go and regenerate brain. There is evi evidence for lots of different types of stem cells um, given to um, uh, st induced stroke models, so animals at different times after a stroke and given to animals via different methods of delivery, for example direct implantation, intracerebral implantation, or given systemically such as intravenously or intraarterially. So all of those different things have been shown to work in different trials. Um, the challenge now is translating that to the clinical arena and um, deciding which is the best type of stem cell to use, when should we gi be giving it to our patients after a stroke, how should we give it to our patients, amongst a, a number of other controversies which we discuss in the paper. Already there are a number of phase one and phase two trials which have been completed or are ongoing. So in this paper we review um, all of the completed trials which have been published and also give a, a summary of the ongoing trials. So that is definitely a, a move in the right direction. But as we mentioned in the paper, there are lots of challenges, lots of unanswered questions which need to be looked at in more detail. And if we're going to take this forward, the key to success will be more coordinated research uh, and paying attention to expert opinion from um, people within this field, as has been published in, for example, the STEPS recommendations, which we mention in our paper.